You're seeing gameplay footage right now of EDF5, just me messing around on it. Um, that has really nothing to do with this announcement at all. This is just some fun background video to have going on, so it's not just a blank video of me talking. Another stream update regarding yet another change in stream times. Been doing a lot of these recently, but I think this is the final one. Before I had moved the morning stream time a little bit earlier, so it's a longer stream that I'm doing on Wednesday, Friday. Instead of starting at 10 a.m. GMT, they're now starting at 8 a.m. GMT and going on until about 1 p.m. GMT. But now I'm changing the evening streams. Uh, the evening streams are basically no longer a thing. Um, they just they took a little bit too much out of my personal life. I don't get to spend as much time with my wife doing them. The viewership of those streams outside of RimWorld was pretty low, pretty terrible. And to me, generally just not worth doing. It was a bit stressing trying to uh, put together the the time and effort and motivation to do that in the evening before bed. And it just became a bit too much considering how many people showed up for them. A lot of the folks who were in those evening streams are also in the morning streams. So it's not like there were so many people who couldn't catch the morning streams who were only able to watch the evening streams. And while there were a few of you who could only watch the evening streams, uh, it wasn't enough for me to sacrifice my personal life to provide those streams. So uh, I'm doing away with the evening streams. However, the morning streams though, still the same time, 8 a.m. GMT to 1 p.m. GMT. Those will now take place on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So I have no weekend streams. Saturday, Sunday, no stream. Monday, no stream, just Tuesday through Friday. Same time, 8 a.m. GMT to 1 p.m. GMT. Very nice, very simple. Um, significantly easier to keep straight. We're just going to be streaming just one game and pounding through it, then moving on to something else. So I don't have to deal with, you know, morning stream, we're doing this game, evening stream, we're doing this game. The evening stream on this day starts an hour earlier than that day. And it's just, it was way too complicated. A lot of people weren't sure when I was streaming or why or how. So this is a lot simpler. It's a lot easier. It doesn't take away from my personal life at all. It's just, uh, it's overall better more consistent as well. I think Twitch likes that sort of thing. So there's that. For those of you who were only able to catch the evening streams, I do sincerely apologize. Those of you who were also only able to catch the Sunday stream, I sincerely apologize. But it just, uh, as I said, it, it just wasn't worth it for me personally to uh, sacrifice my personal life to provide those streams for just a handful of extra people because the morning streams are doing just fine generally. So that's that. No more Sunday stream, no more evening streams. Just Tuesday through Friday, 8 a.m. GMT to 1 p.m. GMT. So check to see what GMT is for your time zone. Um, that's like Central European, I think currently is GMT plus two. So that's 10 in the morning Central European to about 3 p.m. Central European and American times. I'm not sure. A lot of the American audience can't catch either stream time. So you guys probably don't really care and you're the bulk of the audience. So doesn't really apply to you very, very much. For those of you who are interested in catching streams, I do remind you to check to see if your Twitch notification settings are correct. There's a few of you who haven't been getting notified and were wondering why. I suspect you have the notifications disabled. I'd also recommend checking out some browser apps like Twitch Now. Um, they're very, very handy. It's just a little thing in the top right corner of their browser. And you can click it and it gives you a quick rundown of the people that you're following, if they're live, what they're streaming. And I think also how long they're streaming. There's a bunch of a bunch of add-ons and extensions for that kind of stuff. I recommend taking a look at those. They don't necessarily blow up your desktop being like, hey, this guy's streaming, go check them out. It's more of just a, you know, it's a button you push every now and again. Oh, is anybody streaming? Uh, yeah, kind of, sort of. Yeah, I guess I'll watch him play that. Yeah, that, that's fine. They're pretty nice. There's a lot of them out there. I recommend checking those out. If if not those, then check out your Twitch notification settings because you should be getting emails and all that kind of stuff. Um, and yeah, that's that's that. I, I leave you with that.